Hey everybody, it's Crypto Anarchist here and I'm bringing you guys a short video talking about uh, Bitcoin Cash. Now one thing I want you guys all to remember is that there's been a lot of selling pressure from you know, massive exchanges that just weren't going to support Bitcoin Cash. Um, you know, Some people, if they were stupid, they would say this is manipulation against the Bitcoin Cash system. But what all that's going on here is there's exchanges that you know, rather than having to upgrade all their infrastructure and do all this support for Bitcoin Cash, which they probably don't think will succeed, because I mean, you have to really know what you're talking about to know the differences between Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SegWit, um, and we'll talk about those here in this video. But anyways, these guys aren't—they're not manipulating the market against Bitcoin Cash, so I don't want any rumors to go out like that. This is why I hated the video that little Nicky did, because he just threw out rumors and they were baseless. These guys who are dro dropping a lot of Bitcoin Cash and just selling it for Bitcoin immediately—they just don't want to spend the money upgrading their infrastructure. But just remember, this has been happening you know if you look at these two articles here both these names here the one was an exchange and then local bitcoins you know that's it's not really it's it's, it's sort of an a, an exchange it's like an in-person exchange where you meet up with people and sell them in person or bitcoins in person but anyways they're not trying to screw over bitcoin cash they're just doing what's you know rationally uh, best for their company they don't want to spend all the money upgrading their infrastructure um, other people will look at the other side of Bitcoin cash and they'll be like look at what Roger Ver is doing this is a 70 million buy wall at a price of 0.1 Bitcoin cash to Bitcoin um, so he's manipulating the price it's like no he just thinks the price could fall and if it does fall he'd rather you know get 10 times his investment back immediately if he thinks Bitcoin cash is better um, so you know there's things going on on both sides and people say it's manipulation it's it's not all it goes back to is basically this post of what Gavin Andresen said this sort of you know this sparked the fire to be honest uh, when Bitcoin or when Gavin Andresen said this this really put some legitimacy to what uh, Bitcoin Cash was doing at least in the eyes of the public and all he said was uh, it's a store of value and a means of exchange now a lot of people are saying like if you look at the post below isn't there a trade-off between it and this is completely false this is backwards because if you think about it if you have a unit of money and like every time you do a transaction in that unit of money uh, both sides win in the transaction because if I'm buying you know a hot dog I want the hot dog more than I want the money so both sides went out so you're actually creating more value you're creating more economic value so um, the higher your transaction costs are the less transactions you can do and we know that transactions you know they're they create value they're a profit taking or they're a profit receiving endeavor you know you create value through every transaction you do so if you have high transaction fees uh, you're actually going to also hurt the store of value of your currency so actually being you know a store of value and having low transaction fees that makes it a better store of value so uh, Bitcoin cash like I'm talking about it has a lot of potential for um, long for the long term and it could potentially replace Bitcoin but uh, the things you have to know about Bitcoin cash because a lot of people when I say it could like Bitcoin cash could replace Bitcoin SegWit they might say like oh Bitcoin cash is only gonna work until lightning comes out well Bitcoin cash can actually it can actually do lightning as well um, the difference you have to know between Bitcoin SegWit and Bitcoin cash is Bitcoin cash uses the seventh the second level of lightning called lightning channels um, and then so Bitcoin SegWit, on the other hand, uses the third level of Lightning called the Lightning Network. Now, the difference between Lightning Channels and the Lightning Network is that Lightning Channels allow you to stream money between two nodes, between two people. Um, but for every time you create a transaction, you have to pay a fee. Okay, so every time you create a new Lightning Channel, which allows you to stream money, and all you're doing with a Lightning Channel, all all you're doing when people talk about stream money is you create a, an open-ended transaction where you're like, we're going to start this transaction now but we're not sure where it's gonna finish because if you think about what Bitcoin is fundamentally all it is is a blockchain so with a blockchain all you need is like once you fulfill a transaction you need to write it on the ledger that's how the like that's what gives it its value because if you don't write down the transactions on the ledger then they've never been validated by the network okay and so you have to get network validation in order for your transaction to be accepted by the network so what lightning does is it creates an open-ended transaction where you start a transaction you're like we're not going to finish this yet but you know we're going to start it and so then you can send money back and forth basically instantaneously um, and you can stream money so you can literally pay like per you know kilobyte that you use on your computer when streaming videos like there's a lot of crazy stuff you could do I'm not saying that would happen immediately because that would take a long time for businesses to get used to but a lightning channel is just a way of keeping a like starting a transaction but 
choosing not to close it for a certain specified amount of time. So Bitcoin Cash can do what uh, or can do lightning channels, but every time you create a new transaction channel with a new person, uh, you have to pay a fee for that. So like, let's say you wanted to create a lightning channel with your, like a couple local gas stations so that you wouldn't, like you could have a, a one transaction that represents the change in money that you guys have over your channel over a month and so you don't pay any fees except once a month you pay a once a month fee that's how you do it with Bitcoin cash and a lightning channel um, that's that's what you call second level lightning now level 3 lightning uh, what level 3 lightning does is it allows you to use other people's lightning channels so if you think about that basically each person needs about three lightning channels and then you can connect to everybody else because if you think about it if you can use somebody else's lightning channel and you don't have to pay a fee on it, um, it as long as you guys are connected to people who are super connectors or super nodes like a bank like if you're connected to a bank you can pay everybody else through the bank's lightning channels um, that the bank can pay and you can do that for free so with a level three level or third level lightning network with SegWit, um, this runs you into problems though because you're not actually paying the miners for each transaction that you do. Because if you think about it, like each new, like you can do, there's nothing wrong with doing transactions that take quite a bit of time. But if you're not paying for each new relationship you have with a person in each new payment you have with that person, then what happens to the network is because you're doing transactions, but there's no fees going to the miners, like I said before, each transaction creates profit. So with the profit created through that transaction, the value of the network increases, but because you're not paying a fee because you're using somebody else's lightning channel um, on the third level Bitcoin SegWit lightning network uh, model, if you're doing it that way, you don't pay a fee to the miners for each new relationship and each new transaction you have with a person. So that creates an issue because now you're increasing the value of the network but not increasing the um, the amount paid to the miners and the miners are what secure the network and so this is a serious issue in the long-term health of Bitcoin SegWit. This is why Bitcoin Cash was created. Okay, Bitcoin Cash can do level 2 lightning um, and again, with level two lightning, it's all smart contracts. So people say, oh, it would cost you money and time to create a new lightning channel each time. No, what would happen is you would have some sort of human administrator of basically a lightning node, which is almost like a cryptocurrency bank. But again, lightning is basically all smart contracts. So you don't have to do anything as the human administrator unless something goes wrong. So if someone tries to, like there are, the way lightning works is like you put up your money for, let's say, like two months. And, and let's say you have a two month lightning relationship relationship with your rent owner like your landlord and uh, so you, you pay rent for you know two months in advance I don't know what it is you have something like that but the way the lightning channel would work is that if you two have a disagreement those funds just simply lock up for that two month time so it gives you time to figure out what's going on and also like you know that's the price you pay for not having to pay uh, additional fees but again because the way that the blockchain works is that you know every transaction you want to do on the network every relationship you want to do that's what actually creates value Bitcoin cash with the second level lightning channels when it has a fee on every channel you create and remember this fee for Bitcoin cash is gonna be super low it might be a couple of cents so like are you gonna care if you're gonna not pay an extra penny uh, when these things are gonna save you you know probably ten dollars a month in transaction fees if you use them all the time you're not really gonna care so again these two levels of lightnings they both work yes Bitcoin SegWit's third level lightning network it's cheaper but it's cheaper at the cost of paying your miners transaction fees for a transactions that occur so that's really kind of the issue so um, the, the problems you have with both both of these is that with level three like again if you go back to the level three model um, and you just think about it uh, with with having lightning nodes that allow you like the lightning nodes take a fee for the transactions done through their channels um, like if they're the ones watching it because the whole thing about SegWit the reason why like SegWit is required for level 3 lightning okay because SegWit allows other nodes who aren't you to basically um, you know fulfill the transaction and so it basically offloads the work to somebody else so other people who have lightning channels open just allow you to use their lightning channels and that's basically the way that SegWit allows it to work with level 2 lightning you have to have two users and that's why you like because you only have two you like or because each user I guess has their own node that represents them for each new channel you create you have to pay a fee if you are able to use somebody else's channels then you don't have to pay a fee and SegWit allows you to use other people's channels um, but anyways 
the problem again with the level three network is you're going to have node centralization. So if you look at the Bitcoin network right now, you have fees of around ten dollars for the past few weeks, which is terrible. Like that's absolutely terrible. So if you have the level three Lightning network come out for Bitcoin SegWit, what happens is is that the nodes become completely centralized. And when the nodes are centralized, what I mean by this is that like the Bitcoin nodes that run Lightning, if you're running a Lightning node, you will get paid fees for transactions that run through your channels. Okay, and it'll be a very small fee, a very tiny fee. That means that you'll be willing to pay more in order to put your transaction on the network. So you will run into two sets of users, the super users who are the lightning nodes, the lightning full nodes, and they will have a lot of money to spend on high transaction fees. And then you'll have the small users who, like at $10 fees right now, if the lightning comes out, everyone's going to try and avoid the fees by staying on the lightning network. And so then you'll have, like, the problem will just increase, like, less people will be willing to pay the fee, but the lightning nodes, like we said already, they're super users, so they'll be able to pay any fee, it doesn't matter the transaction amount, and so it'll just push people out of the market. So if you're not running a lightning node, you won't be able to pay for the transaction fee. And it really centralizes this stuff in a really weird way. Um, so it's something you really need to pay attention to. Again, the way that the level two lightning solves this problem is it's like it requires a node for each per person on the network. So you don't even technically speaking have to run the node yourself. You might offload the node. Like there might be cryptocurrency banks that just say we'll run your node for you, but you would re require a node if you are you know using Bitcoin cash to do level two lightning channels because each time that the channel is created you need this channel to be created in real time and so you might not run the node but you would just have like you know maybe a debit card that gives uh, you know commands to your bank operator on how to run your node your cryptocurrency bank operator so again the reason why you want this for level two lightning is that like this doesn't like it won't cost a lot of money to do these transaction fees. The fees will be evenly distributed and you won't have super node, like super users. There's no super users in level two lightning. There are super users in the level three, the lightning network, the lightning channels. It's just, it's normal Bitcoin. Um, this is why Bitcoin cash was created. And again, this is why I see it as a long-term play. Um, but like I said before, there's a lot of sell pressure on this coin. So don't think, think like it's, you know, going to immediately moon or anything like this. I, I haven't even bought any. I'm just not selling any because um, it has the potential to go very high if the developers take it where it could go. Um, but again, the final point I want to talk about here is that level two seems better for proof of work because if you think about it, the level three lightning network, you have uh, basically it, like master nodes in Dash. You have nodes that do extra work for the network. So if you use the lightning network for a proof of stake coin, something like PIVX, you know, um, there's other proof of stake coins. Pure coin is a proof of stake coin. I don't know that many proof of stake coins to be honest, but the level three lightning network I think will do massive things for proof of stake cryptocurrencies. I always said proof of stake needed something like vital to the network that would, you know, also act as what backs the network. Because for mining, it's you know making sure the transactions are validated and you create a huge profit incentive for it. So if you ran lightning nodes, the level three lightning network nodes on proof of stake cryptocurrencies, I think that would make it it, like uh, that would make a lot more sense so you have the staking rewards also be the people who run the lightning channel so I think that's the way that proof of stake cryptocurrency should work and again this is why level 3 lightning uh, the lightning network for Bitcoin SegWit I'm not so sure about it is because Bitcoin SegWit is a proof of work cryptocurrency and so all of its uh, governance and everything revolving around that like it's all completely based upon the mining so a 51% attack which would completely cripple the network like that is done through the mining and so with Bitcoin SegWit you have a proof of work cryptocurrency that's offloading transaction fees to a basically proof of stake style system but the governance is all completely dominated by the miners so you're just creating a lot of weird security vulnerabilities through this network and again it still hasn't been released yet so you know I'm, ta I'm talking about things that don't exist yet so I might be wrong on a couple of these things but uh, you know these ideas need to be spread out here and this is why I see long-term potential in Bitcoin Cash again I'm not, you shouldn't really watch this channel as necessarily investing advice, uh, but you should watch this channel to learn new things about cryptocurrencies because I know I talk about things that other people don't. That's why you should be watching. Um, obviously, I like to uh, tell people what, like the way I'm using my advice or the my information um, as like for my investments. Uh, and I like to say that just for disclosure, just so you guys know, so I'm not like cheating anybody out of anything. You know, it's not like I'm pumping and dumping anything if I tell you what I'm buying and selling. Um, but the other reason is like I, I want you guys to know that's just my personal investment advice. So 
take it with a grain of salt. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more coming out on Bitcoin Cash as there's a lot of things that people don't really understand yet.